Blog Talk Radio. host, David Shinsky, and you're listening to Live Without Limits. Today's show is titled, 15 Ways to Grow Your Business Fast. Now, before I actually get into it, I want to tell you a little story. I recently attended a webinar, and it was really interesting because they kept talking about how affiliate marketing doesn't work. Um, uh, and and several other types of things didn't work. But then they were telling you how they could build you a website, they can put the keywords in, they can do the, they can, and they were going to charge you almost five thousand dollars to get their program. Well, you know what? It does work because they are using all the same systems. And the systems is what we're going to talk about on this presentation or on this podcast today. Because if you have the right platform with all the tools, it doesn't cost you anything, or it may cost you over a year's time, maybe a thousand dollars, but. Here's the thing, if if you're on the right platform that has all the tools that gives you the training on how to use it, because all you have to do is build an e-commerce website, put up pictures of your product, and then market them using Google AdWords, blogs, social media, even any place. The thing is, you need to know who your target audience is. And learning your target audience, knowing who you're going to serve. Like if you want to serve the family network and know what holidays are and what things people are going to buy for certain holidays, like whether it's flowers, whether it's candy, whether it's jewelry, well, those are the things that you can actually put pictures on and promote on your website as an e-commerce store because all you really need is a checkout where people can buy or, or, or research and do multiple products at the same time. So understanding that and understanding how To say start out with as little as $500, you can build a very successful business today. I uh, mainly do a lot of a lot of things on e-learning courses, and here's the thing: initially, I made some videos and put them up on Skillshare, and then I also put them up on Udemy. Well, guess what? Out of those two. Platforms that everyone knows, I have multiple platforms that I can put my e-learning courses and make an income from. That from Skillshare, I had already been up there for several years, and I wasn't making that much money off of it, but maybe a few dollars here and a few dollars there, because they pay two cents for every minute that someone watches your your courses or your video courses. So, and then on Udemy, you can figure out what you need to charge, but you, you need to go by their regulations and know what kind of videos, what the smallest size video you can use and still be within regulation and have something that you can also, also multipurpose. Because what came out of it was initially when the pandemic hit, I had gotten someone that contacted me 
that they have a platform where they offer e-learning courses to accountants for continuing education units. And yes, my slow my my sales were slow in one month. I didn't make anything, but within the last two months, I've made a couple of hundred dollars. And it's not only that, but it's been a steady, constant thing where people are slowly purchasing my e-learning courses. From Ujemi, I got a, a, a contact from someone on LinkedIn. She'd go on their site, which is Tutorial Point, and post my e-learning courses. Well, guess what? I, can, I don't have to go out and create new ones. I can take the ones that I've already done and repurpose them somewhere else. Then I have a company called Skill Success contact me that initially what I had to do was send them my videos for them to look at. They liked what they had. They wanted the actual court, written coursework that went with it. And then they offered me a contract as an independent contractor that I get, that I get paid every quarter based on revenue sharing. So I am repurposing on almost six different platforms all my courses. So if you understand that you may not make the money immediately, but you can build it up, then that's what's going to happen. But Go Bubble Pro wants to charge you $5,000, build you a website, get it up and running, and then turn it over to you. And they're going to tell you that you can make thousands and thousands of dollars just by selling these products. Well, what they're actually doing is doing nothing but giving you a replicating website. So they're not going out and really doing anything new. And yet that's what they're telling you that they're doing, that they're going to create something new. Well, all you have to do is you can go do the research and find out where the jewelry is and contract with the, the drop shipper. This way someone else is actually shipping it out for you when someone orders something from you. So successfully scaling a business is all about doing the fundamentals and having the stamina to see it through. And let's face it, scaling your business is hard. It takes considerable effort. In the beginning, it means wearing different hats. It means dealing with sales and marketing. It means understanding taxes and corporate compliance. It involves having to interact with customers on a daily basis and so much more. At the end of the day, it takes its toll on you. If you're struggling to grow your business, there is light at the end of the tunnel. Sure, it's hard, but what's the alternative? A life-sucking nine-to-five job? Surely not. Okay, maybe you're longing for the security of a guaranteed paycheck, but at what mental or emotional price will that come? The truth, if you buckle down, clear your mind, and just look at things in perspective, you can easily identify ways that you can grow your business and make more money quickly. While hundreds of business growth strategies likely exist, the following 15 will take your business to the next level. Roland Frazier, a business growth strategist, has a unique approach to scaling business as a principal of digital marketer and native co commerce media and CEO of Wolver Mastermind. He knows all the things and or two about the online marketing world. Now, here's the thing. Digital Marketer is its own website, and you can go on there and actually purchase courses that teach you how to do email marketing, how to 
do search engine mastery and where to get your keywords, such as using Google AdWords to incorporate what they have, which is the Google Ad. Okay, you need a Google AdWords, and it's called Google Keyword Planner. So to get to Google Keyword Planner, and what they also teach you is how to do the long tail keywords. And long tail keywords means it's not just putting in one or two words, but it's putting in a phrase. And that phrase gets very detailed. And when you get that detailed and you know exactly what those keywords are and how to use them on your website, then guess what? That's what's going to get you what you are looking for, which is traffic to your website and your e-commerce store and sales. Frazier, who builds and scales seven, eight, and nine-figure businesses, tells me that there are loads of ways to grow a business quickly, but only 15 core strategies that will truly make a real impact on your bottom line. Some are time intensive at the outset. That much should be expected, but the benefits and profits will ultimately make them well worthwhile, like anything else in life or business. You have to put in the time if you're looking to reap the benefits. Don't focus on the short-term outcome of your work. Look to the long-term. Build sincere value and look to help your customers genuinely care. That should be the foundation. After all, it's simply a matter of taking action and putting in the Excuse me. After that, it's simply a matter of taking action and putting in the work to scale. The first thing you need to do is build a sales funnel. Let me tell you what a sales funnel is. It's actually a website, but it's a funnel where you are giving them, either giving them away an ebook, a white paper, or even just a free website if you want to. If you're an agency and you're looking to, to build clients, you can build them a website for free, but then you're charging them a month just to host the website. And a sales funnel, what you do, your first page is your lead capture page. Because what the lead capture page is, it's where they have to leave their name and their email address, which is connected to your autoresponder with your email list so that once you can set it up, you can start building a relationship with those customers, and then you can always upsell them from there. The idea is that the sales funnel is what gets you your leads because they always say the money's in the leads. The first way to quickly grow your business is by building a sales funnel. If you don't have a sales funnel, you're making a monumental mistake. Sales funnels can help to automate your business. It helps you to scale and grow quickly and easily. Sure, there's some front-end work involved, obviously, but once those processes are in place, it's smooth sailing from there. Frazier says that every sales funnel needs to be carefully conceptualized before it's created. Consider the different funnels first and foremost, whether it's a free plus shipping offer or a high-ticket coaching funnel. It's important to build your automated selling, selling machine to quickly scale and grow your business. Utilize a customer 
management system. Manually tracking transactions is hard. No one wants to do that. It gets too cumbersome as the business grows. If you want to scale quickly, use customer management system planners. There are plenty to choose from, but it really depends on your line of work. Of course, close or cloud-based software like Salesforce is always a viable option. QuickBooks can help you with the accounting. Infusionsoft can also assist with sales and marketing. There are plenty of C- C- CMS systems, most of which integrate with other cloud-based services. Find what works for you and utilize it. Now, we just talked about sales funnels and customer management systems. I happen to dock my website on a platform called Builderall. And why am I on Builderall? Well, when I was on WordPress and when I was on a coaching website platform, uh, then I had to purchase each of these systems and tools separately. So now all I'm doing is paying a one monthly fee and I have access to over 40 tools that can truly help me with building my business because they have created not only a CMS tool, but they also have a booking tool where you can you don't have to go out and find another platform where you go in there and set everything up and then link it to your website or your sales funnel. It's all right there on that one platform so that you're not paying for each of them separately. Research the competition. When going to market and you're really looking to get your offer to the masses, you need to research the competition. Frazier says he uses two platforms to conduct his research. The first is SimilarWeb. The other is Adby. Both provide competitive intelligence. If your chance for x-ray lenses into all landing pages, ad copy, and other stages of the funnel, this all Oh, this allows you to uncover any advertiser's online strategy. Find the ads that have been running for the longest. Emulate those. That's the quickest way to scale your business. If it's a proven and it's working for your competitors, it's likely that it'll work for you. Create a customer loyalty Program. Loyalty programs are a great way to increase sales. It costs up to three times more money to acquire new customers than it does to sell something to an existing customer. Other resource, pin this number anyway, from four to ten times more. However, anyway, that you slice that acquiring new customers is expensive. Frazier says that building a customer loyalty program will help you retain your customers. It might also help you attract new ones as well. If there's a clear incentive to spend more money with you, it's payoff in the long run. Build an attractive loyalty program if accessible to your existing customers and watch sales sales skyrocket over time. Here's another thing to think about. You can also create an affiliate program where your existing customers become affiliates and then they help you sell your products with replicating websites. And what does that do? 
you give them permission of a percentage of the sales, but they earn money as a reward for helping you sell your products. Identify new opportunities. Analyze new opportunities in your business by understanding your demographic better. Understand everything from distribution channels to your direct competitors and even an analysis of foreign markets and other potential industries. Here's the thing, that today what we, we live in a global economy simply because people are purchasing online. In fact, to Toriel's point, one of the platforms that I'm on selling my courses, they're actually located in India. Build an email list. Well, your email list is also your autoresponder. When you set up emails, where you can actually build a relationship with your potential customers or your entry-level customers. You have the welcome email. You have the sequential email. You have the email where uh, that goes out if they have, it's an abandoned car email. So you have various types of emails. And that's also a part of the platform that I'm using. I'm not paying separately to purchase a autoresponder. One of the most effective ways to grow a business quickly is to build an email list. Clearly, that means that you need to have a lead magnet. Why else would people subscribe to your list? And with a lead magnet comes the necessity for a sales funnel. Look at the companies where you can build and manage your list. These are some factors to think about when you're looking at growing your business. And often it's important to understand how to build your business online. And this is what we're talking about is a system that you use to build a business online. Form strategic partnerships. Strategic partnerships with the right companies can truly make a world of difference. Leverage global platforms in the e-commerce business selling products. Why not use Amazon's FBA service? In the business of selling services, why not use Upwork? In business of renting vacation homes, why not leverage Airbnb? In Fight Home, HomeAway, or other global platforms, find a platform that reaches saturation and uses it to grow your business quickly. Consider a franchise model. If you have a successful business and you're really looking to grow quickly, consider franchising it. All those franchise costs are high and moving to a franchise model is complex and takes a lot of marketing know-how. It could make all the difference in your truly looking for quick growth. Diversify your offer lineup. Look into diversifying your offers. What complementary products or services or information can you offer in your business in order to grow your need to think about expansion? Identify new opportunities within your niche. Build passive income streams. Growing a business takes significant effort. If you're dealing with razor-thin margins, consider building passive income streams. This way, you don't have to worry so much about keeping the lights on, so to speak. Passive income 
will afford you the opportunity to make mistakes and not have to lose your shirt. It'll keep your business and provide a basis to grow and market and scale quickly, giving you ample resources. Here's another thing to think about when it comes to passive income. That passive income is can be investing, it can be selling an e-learning course, it can be having a home where you're renting out property or you purchase rental property, it can be stocks, it can be bonds, it can be almost anything because residual income and passive income are two similar things. And in one way, one of them, it, it starts out as active income when you're actually building it and marketing, but once you've got it scaled, like me, like my putting my e-learning courses on multiple platforms, then it's something that literally keeps making money for me while well, I'm not putting any more effort into it because someone else is selling it for me. Acquire other businesses. Sometimes acquiring other businesses is a very quick way to grow your own business. If you can find competitors or business in other industries that would complement your own, you can use that platform to scale fast. International expansion. You can expand internationally. Can you take your existing offers and, and scale them internationally? What would it take to do this in Canada or Mexico or Europe? Here's the thing. Uh, I'm on CPDF Formula, and that's a platform out of Canada where they're selling my e-learning courses at continuing education units to accountants. Well, Whatever they get paid, then I get paid through Stripe, and it's converted from Canadian dollars to U.S. dollars. And in India, they're going to pay me through PayPal. So there's ultimately different ways that you can convert and still be making money through multiple streams of income if you understand how to use them all effectively. It's just a matter of learning. And here's the last thing we're going to talk about. Create a webinar. Webinars are a great way to promote any product or service. It can also help you grow your business relatively fast. Webinars provide an automated selling tool for literally taking any product or service to market and reaching a wide audience quickly. A webinar medium is great for captivating audiences automatically. And this is very important to understand how you can literally use webinars. I recently, or through Build a Roll, my sponsor has created a program, and I bought it for initially $97. Well, now he's selling it for over $5,000. But the difference is not only he's expanded it a little bit and added to it, but he's also offering coaching services, individual coaching various things, and when you incorporate all of that into it, then you can increase it once you've proven that you have a product that can sell. And you can go to my website, and that website is the number one personal careercoach.com, and you can sign up for both individual and group coaching, or you can take some of my e-learning courses and learn how to use the tools.